Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel today. If you enjoyed this review, please drop a like and please subscribe down below. I appreciate all the support from everybody. And we have a pretty cool box. I like what they did here. It's a very familiar box. If you kind of ignore the colors and what they did, you'll know what sneaker this is. But we see a kind of blue, waterish, laser, reflective. It's, it's a weird design in there. I'm glad it's actually being picked up on the camera. You got a little bit of a faded vintage style looking black on the box. And if we flip it around, this is an Air Jordan 1 Zoom Air CMFT, which I believe stands for comfort. And the colorway is Team Gold Bright Concord Black, men's size 13. And retail was high for this Jordan 1 at 190 US. And the paper you get inside this box actually is a clear gridded pattern with this interesting strap that actually includes a little information on the Jordan Comfort. You know, designed in Beaverton, collar is made of two, three floating foam panels for a more relaxed fit. And then it shows down here, you have foam pods under perforated lining in both the tongue and collar for added comfort around the ankle. So a little bit of information on why it's different than the traditional Jordan 1. And this particular pair released on, I believe, October 28th, 2021 for 190 US. And this is what we are looking at today. So this is a pretty wild Jordan 1. Like I said, it was pretty high too for 190 US. But we have a laser gold etched upper, leather panels, mix of suede, and just a real interesting take on the Jordan 1. So let's start with the quality. The leather quality, I have to say, on the gold laser etching part is actually pretty nice. It flexes really well. It feels good to the touch. The only thing that throws me off is the way the lining is made on here, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Your mid panel here in black is a nice, soft kind of nubuck suede. And then along here is a leather piece that actually looks like it has kind of a metallic shimmer to it. And that nice blue comes all the way back to where it's cut by that gold laser etched leather and there is a close-up look at that laser etching and that's actually the same laser etching you saw on the lining of the paper so that kind of hints where that's taken from there is your white midsole with white stitching you got this nice interesting bordered outsole so the border as you see is translucent while the inner part of the outsole is black I think that's a really nice touch. I don't know. I just like the way that looks. I know you're never going to see that because it's the bottom of the sneaker, but I just like it. Now, as you can see, don't mind this little folding flap right there. It's actually on both pairs. If you try to pull this up here and put it underneath this piece, it actually will not fit because of the way it's stitched. It is meant to sit down flapped like that. And you do have a little bit of marking right there, which says zoom on that tag. Now, this black coming all the way up is the new buck suede that suede is also up here along the ankle area so i would point out that there is some suede on here in case you're in rainy areas like i am perforated toe box on that etched leather there's a look at the medial sign i like the swoosh too that blue is really nice with that metallic shimmer i think that's pretty cool and there's a look at the heel once again these are really wild as soon as i saw these i thought you know Las Vegas. I don't know why. I just thought Las Vegas. And looking at the lining, which I wanted to get to, has this double layered. So you have the suede material here. And then you have this foam lining right here. Now, the cool thing about these is they do have a nice little padded area on the ankle. Which you can see there's a little perforation coming around here and over this way. And... While we're there, your insole is blue with that nice yellowish gold jump man. And you can see the perforated padding right here on the ankle area. Once again, these are going to be comfortable, but I would like to touch on one thing right now while I have these a little zoomed out. I'll put it in text. Sizing. These run big. I tried these on size 13. Definitely a little bit of room for me. I would like to go a half a size down. I would recommend you do the same and go a half a size down. That is just how I feel about these. I really think these run a little bit big. And the only pair of laces you get with these are these black laces with the clear tips, which is a little unfortunate. You think for $190, we might get a little bit of extra laces to match these. Maybe in the blue right here would have been nice. 
Sorry if you guys hear that plane flying over right now, if the mic's picking it up. There's some gold around the eyelets on the sneaker going all the way up. That's a little bit of a metal touch right there. Your black canvas style tongue. There's a look at the Jumpman tag up here, which is, uh, I'd say like a stiff backpack material. Almost feels like a bomber jacket. And there is a gold Jumpman in the middle that is stitched on. It's a nice tongue tag, though, I would say that. So, overall, I think they're a little bit high. These aren't really my type of design. For 190 retail, they are, of course, sold out, going over retail. But even for retail, they were pretty high. But I do think they're pretty cool. It's up to you. I don't know. I'm on the fence about these. Sorry if I'm kind of like going back and forth. But I just I can't decide if I like these or not. Let me know what you guys think of these down below in the comments. Let's see if you guys like these. What do you guys not like about them if you don't like them? Other than that, I'm going to leave the review there. I thank you guys for stopping by today. I appreciate the support from everybody. I hope you stick around. I have more content coming shortly. And I hope everybody has a great day. All right?